Welcome to Modern Plastics TV, the first and largest online TV for the plastics and polymer industry, voice of global plastics industry since 2013. K exhibition, K show is amazing for seeing new innovators, new technology, and the latest market trends. Today, here with me, Mr. Oliver Sawad from Hitachi. Thank you, Oliver, for joining Modern Plastics TV here at Mr. Dusseldorf. Uh, during the K exhibition, uh, could you please tell about uh, you know how the history of Hitachi a little bit? So yeah, Hitachi is a really old company. So it's a Japanese company uh, started as a small company, mainly mo making um, uh, engine for mining industry. And over the years, it just evolved a lot to uh, go from making engine and now is a financial company, also making scientific instrument like we have here. Uh, we're making trains, we're making power plants, we're dealing with uh, transportation, also um, train manufacturing. Um, so now it's a really a global company uh, involved in all kinds of different industries. What are the product range you have for the plastics and polymer industry and what are you displaying here? Yes, so um, the main product we have for the plastic industry are the thermal analyzers. So we have a full range of thermal analyzers, uh, DSC, TGA, DSC, STA, TMA, and DMA. Um, so those are used for quality control, research in the polymer industry, troubleshooting uh, for incoming raw material as well as finished goods. Uh, we also have um, scanning electron microscope, also known as SCM, uh, looking at the really uh, in the in infinite or really small uh, part of the uh, polymers as well as uh, XRF that we're having here. So looking at element content uh, within the, the polymer, the finished good again, uh, used also for uh, all the recycling part, knowing what is in your material, uh, what type of impurity you have, uh, what type of material all mix before you use your sample or your material into extrusion or so on, making your final parts. Is it only really used in the extrusion or it can be used in uh uh, injection blow molding or all yeah, all yeah. All, all type of uh, all type of, of polymer. So it could be injection molding, it could be extrusion, it could be yeah, all, all, all the process um, thermal analysis will be used, or one of these instruments I've just talked about will be used for this. Um, as I said, as a quality control troubleshooting or incoming raw material testing. So let us go and see what you have here this time for the yes. <clears throat> Just explain, yep. So uh, here we have our benchtop uh, scanning electron microscope. So as I mentioned earlier, this is uh, looking at the uh, really fine, really small parts of the polymer, uh, looking at, we can look at impurities, but also looking at the distribution of the composition of the material down to the micron level or even smaller than this. So even if they can find out the contamination and... Uh uh, yeah, contamination, but mostly people will be looking at the, the distribution of the material. Moisture distribution. Yeah, yeah. how homogenous it is, and, and also looking at uh, yeah the different uh, uh, distribution of the product within the, the polymer. And uh, this is um, here we have our top of the range DSC. So this is a DSC six hundred. Uh, DSC six hundred is um, used for. Uh, thing like, again, incoming raw material, looking if you have any impurity. As an example, um, in Europe, we need to, a lot of the product needs to have um, uh, recycled material within them. Um, and recycled material are not always 100% clean. So here we can see if we have, let's say, you want to work with polyethylene and there is some polypropylene contamination. This is the type of instrument I'll be able to pick it up. And uh, what are the minimum temperature and the highest temperature? You can yeah, the DSC uh, 600 or, or the next uh, DSC in general can go down to minus 150 up to uh, 600, uh, 725 degrees Celsius, depending on the accessory you have. Um, at the moment, we have the auto sampler set up on the instrument. So if you want to have a fully automated system, we can go from automatically picking up the sample, place it, and the software will do the whole analysis automatically exporting data and then your limb system can collect them and get them in, into the system. So fully automated from the sample analysis all the way down to uh, data analysis. Um, yeah, so here we have the Nexta STA 200 RV. Uh, so uh, STA is, stands for uh, simultaneous thermal analysis. It does TGA and DSC. So looking at 
weight loss, uh, thermal stability of the material. Um, here again, the auto sampler is working. Uh, one thing that Itachi is quite famous for is the, the real view system. So it's a camera system that allows you to see what's happening in your, um, during your experiment. So you have real time view of what's happening. So you can look at things like color change. So some company want to make sure that the, the sample will not change color during the process. Using the camera system, the software, it's all integrated. You can do color analysis and to look at yeah, if my, my color is stable throughout the uh, making of the goods or it's changing uh, at a specific temperature. So you can um, adjust your process uh, with this. How do you see the trend changing? Into previously, people were not interested to do a lot of testing. How, how is the testing change? Yes. Trend, trend is happening and everybody wants to have a report nowadays. So yes. How do you see the change? Yes, uh, I think what we've seen in the last probably 10 or 20, 10 years is the the testing used to be known by one person. Like if something looks bad or the, the instrument, the, the, the sample are not looking the way they should look, uh, people will just, they will have one expert that will just change something on the extrusion machine or anything like this or add. But now people want to uh, base their product on facts, on science. So a lot more labs that are investing in thermal analysis and SEMs and XRF to do the, the testing. So you have concrete data, you can prove to your end user that the product you're making are meeting their um, specification. Um, you can also make sure that what's going in production line is the right one. So this way you'll save money because you know what's going in is right. You don't have to stop the, um, the production. Um, so yeah, we see more and more lab uh, investing. The new trend in the, the instrumentation is automation. So having an auto sampler, being able to do all the uh, data analysis automatically is kind of key for the, 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 the industry at the moment. The industry and technology changing every time. After COVID, uh, the change has up, uh, made a little more betterment. The industry want to have the tested uh, real-time reports before they start any of the product manufacturing. This will help the industry to grow and save a lot of money and energy. Hitachi is going to be here for next until the 15th of October. If you would like to visit, visit them in hall number 11, stall number D07. You can see the latest testing technologies and analyzing technology here. And we wish you all the best in the coming days. Have a wonderful time in Dusseldorf. Thank you. Thank you.